Okay, so what I want to do is look at how to replace footage after you've already done some sort of effect to it. This is obviously a pretty useful thing to do, right? So, okay, I want to do a couple of layer shortcuts as well uh, before we start, though. So if we set this, we just press Enter. We can then change the title. of, And also, if you press Ctrl-Alt-E, you'll be able to see the file name in the info panel. Okay, so say we have some sort of effect that we want to do to this footage. And... Yeah, so let's do that. We'll just do some kind of effect. So we'll do, say, something with the the scale of it. And we'll just do something very, very simple. And... Yeah, we'll do... Okay, we'll do 100 here. And then at the beginning, we'll do a zero, right? Or we'll start with five. I feel like it's better always to start with something a little bit small rather than just nothing. Okay, so that is what's happening now. Then we could do just like a simple uh, wiggler effect on it. Let's do wiggler here. And let's do all the same on that. So it's sort of like just sort of going into view, right? I could actually just, I'm going to do just remove a bunch of the ones in the middle. That might be interesting. Yeah, that kind of looks cool. So we've done we've done like an effect on it, right? So we may want to change our footage to this one instead, but we probably don't want to redo what we've just done. So very, very simple to do that. All you have to do is go your other footage here, hold down the Alt key, and just drag that on top until you get to this position here. Now, if you look at the scale, you can see that the scale is exactly the same, but the footage is different. So you can see we've got the different footage there. So yeah, just a very simple way to replace footage. So thanks for watching.